A controversy continues to surround the electoral body IBC CEO Ezra Chiloba a following his suspension hours after the court quashed IBC chair Wafula Chebukati to send him on compulsory leave. Chebukati deferred the orders made by Justice Stephen Radido, allowing Chiloba was suspended in April this year to continue with his duties, a pending hearing and determination of a case he filed. But in a letter to the CEO, the IBC chairman accused Chiloba of acting in violation of his employment contract which bars him from suing the commission. A part of Chebukati's letter reads, and I quote, this is to notify you that following the meeting of the commission held on 14th June, a 2018 person to Article 251 of the Constitution and Section 7 of the IBC Act 2011, the commission has resolved to suspend you with the immediate effect as the CEO or the accounting officer of the commission pending the completion of the comprehensive audit of all the major procurements relating to the general election of the 8th August 2017 and fresh presidential election held on October 26th, October 2017. End of quote. However, Wafula Chebukati's decision has not been taken lightly by Ezra Chiloba, who is considering moving to court to challenge his boss' action. And speaking to Ebru TV on phone, Chiloba says he will make up his decision on Monday. <laughs> Chiloba had filed a petition challenging the decision by Chibukati to send him on a three-month compulsory leave in what was said to be as a result of procurement issues. On April this year, Commissioners Vice Chairperson calling other minor and Commissioners Magdalene Mwachanya and Paul Kruger resigned and saying they had no faith with the leadership of Ofula Chibukati. This includes Rosalind Akombe who resigned earlier on. Their exit left only Chebukati, Boya Mulu and Abdi Gulia, a number that has been argued cannot conduct substantive business at the commission. Chebukati has now appealed to the parliament to fill up the vacancies left by the four commissioners. The first schedule applies that uh, there's already the, the, the provisions are there as to guiding as to the placement of commissioners in, in the current existing law. What Parliament needs to do is modify the regulations which are used to appoint this commission in place now so that it can now, the same can be used to appoint or replace commissioners who have left. President Uru Kenyatta announced all the procurement officers shall undergo fresh vetting in the fight against corruption during his second and final time in office. Kenyatta has now taken another weighty decision of carrying out life audit of the public servants. A reporter for Ebro TV, I'm Jeff Khaemba.